working on the passenger fender. Uh, I cut out uh, all the rust. Even the inner structure was rotten. Uh, it's got a, and the front here was pretty bad. Uh, also a crack. So we'll have to weld that crack up. I've made all the patch panels for there, even the inner structure one. Uh, so that'll f take care of that and up front here. And then once we uh, wall that in, we'll uh, start tackling this uh, ugly uh, back part. It may look good, but from this side, this has all been cut out previously. And this is a replacement and they bonded it in, they brass screwed it in. Uh, it's a big mess, so it's gonna have to be cut off around here and make a whole new piece and we'll show you how that's done so we've tack welded uh, in the front portion uh, it's not fully welded in yet got this piece tacked welded in and this piece uh, there was a crack here we had to do that Next piece we're gonna tackle is this inner brace here. It was rotten here. Uh, so I basically had a scrap piece of metal and it already had a bead in, into it. And you can see this one has a little bead in it. So I decided just to use that. And that will just fit in there right there. It fits perfectly, it'll look factory even though you will never see it. And then uh, the outside sheet metal We'll be tacked in like that and then the hard part okay so this piece is all uh, been tacked welded in uh, I'll show you the inner structure we replace this piece that looks all good it's just tack welded in there same with this front piece we didn't finish welding it We'll uh, probably tackle the end piece, the bottom, uh, and then weld, uh, weld everything and then grind in every, everything smooth. And, but this came out very nice. Uh, there won't be much of any Bondo there, just, around, just a, long, a little bit around the, the bottom edge, and that's about it. Same with this. It should be fairly uh, decent looking with uh, the least amount of bondo as possible. <coughs> hey, uh, we've uh, cut off the uh, bottom of the passenger fender where all the crappiness was. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Here's the, uh, what was cut off. There is, this piece was basically grafted in with uh, a few screws and some brass screws and a lot of Bondo. On the back, uh, there was a piece of aluminum that which couldn't even be welded, it was screwed to act as a the fender brace. Uh, but that's all cut out and we made this piece. Uh, using the English wheel and a few pie cuts to make the curve and that's just going to be welded in something like that and formed in we just still got to bend it a little bit um, but that's how I made the uh, the driver's fender and uh, if we had the proper tipping tool and I wouldn't have to use all these pie cuts but we're doing what we can right now and it'll come out good so here's the uh, not the final but the fenders all been uh, welded has not not been ground this came out very nice uh, the curve it'll be basically none no bondo along here just along the top where I pie cut it 
Uh, I got the brace inside. We just have to drill two mounting holes for the running boards and another hole there. Uh, this has all been welded up on there. Just needs to be ground. We uh, even stripped the fender, the driver's fender, so it's all stripped. Ready for some uh, tender loving care. And next time we'll grind some more. So here's the finished uh, two fenders. <clears throat> this is the first one I did. This is the driver's. Uh, I had a little bit more difficulty with it since this was the first time. And this is the other panel here uh, that was replaced. Came out very good. This bottom one will need a little bit more um, fiberglass, but not much. This one is the passenger came out a lot better. Uh, very straight, no problems at all. Uh, has a little bit more, a few dents in it, but this panel came out perfect. And up front here came out perfect as well. But they're all ground. Uh, no major dents left. There's a few little ripples along here that we're going to take out. We filled in the uh, antenna hole uh, since it probably won't have a radio. But uh, that's it for these fenders. And we'll just get primed and uh, bondoed at a later date. We'll show you that probably.